A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there all over the planet who are on the ascension journey. You guys are all making a lot of effort. However, in this channeling session, I have been given a message from the the masters on this journey, and they have given me. two words for this channeling one is stalking and one is chaser so what they are trying to say over here is in the first word both words are very simple and they are saying that these two things are becoming a block for the divine feminines who are awaiting a union or they are awaiting communication or most importantly who are not at peace right now because what is the most important thing is in this journey is to be at peace with yourself if you are at peace with yourself then you will not feel any stagnation stand still and you will be very focused on your mission which by now if you are coming to my channelings again and again and if you know the theme of to inflame journey and if you know that i pray to ram and sita radha and krishna and shiva and shakti and their forms like for ram and sita they are also vishnu and lakshmi who are in the higher realm together as vishnu and lakshmi but on planet earth they lived as ram and sita so the whole purpose of twin flame journey is actually to have full mastery over your emotions and have peace in your life because your focus is the mission of course being together and sharing a message is also a big mission in this journey because many of the people on the twin flame journey have faced a lot of abuse in their life and there are many templates which need to be worked there are many karmic templates that have to be healed before coming into the state of peace or coming into the state of union and there can be many templates and that these templates have been given to the masculine and the feminine via the dna so in many cases this template has been given by those ancestors who are not alive or those people who gave them the abuses but they are not a part of their life some of them have actually worked and come too far in this journey where they have shown the door to the abusers or people who created abusive energies even till 3 4 years back or even if 2 3 years back they were still abusers in this journey for some people for many people and some of us know and some of us are also working with me like when i say us i mean all of you uh together as a family some of you are working with me and you have not been raised by uh your own parents either your parents died or uh they did not raise you there were some problems or uh, even they raised you they were too overbearing so you were literally even in your 30s or even in your mid 30s there was a big struggle of finding your own place in life and finding your own independence and this does not mean that you don't care about your parents or you don't care about those who matter to you it simply means that there was a lot of dependency overbearing dependency which had to be worked upon and some of you have really done a brilliant job by healing yourself and by connecting with the divine and having faith in this journey but still there are many who are in the struggling phase and even those who have uh, you know fixed those a uh, heavy duty templates they are still working on other templates and it's very beautiful to see that i am coaching some of the people from different parts of the globe right now who are very 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 much into their own ascension it's like they only tell me that i want to do my mission work i want to do my ascension i want to be at peace i don't care about what labels the society has and this is one of the most wonderful thing that this journey can teach you to be content with who you are now at the same time i have some people who message me or who mail me they have very anxious energies they are very anxiety uh, laden energies uh, constantly complaining constantly constantly bickering constantly 
blaming other people constantly creating nuisance when it's not even required in this journey you will learn that there is there are at times when you have to be a total badass but when you're not required to do that and you keep doing it with every dom dick and harry and every person good and bad every situation you want to put your weight around then that means you're really not in the, even in the journey you're just here because you want you enjoy these talks and you love these talks and it makes you feel superior in some way or you're trying to you know you're into a romantic union uh, sorry not a union but a romantic thing with someone and that's not working out with you so you want to think that it's a twin flame relationship twin flame relationships you know they are not very easy so these two words kept popping up and i have to relate in the most appropriate way with utmost honesty so stalking stalking is something that a lot of divine feminines are doing is what they should immediately drop if they want to manifest a union if they want to create peace and even sort out other areas of life like independence removing codependence the increasing self respect and respect amongst other people also because uh, some of the feminines didn't have a lot of respect in the family even though they were doing a lot and being there in the mission work and being independent financially because financial independence is also an important aspect which does not mean you should become a materialistic person and run after diamonds and golds and big cars and property and show off that is not materialism that is insecurity covered with materialism wrapped under materialism you should be just simply independent on yourself and you should not be worried about money all the time and whatever you have you should be happy and content with that that god has given me so much and there should always be a desire to share now all of these things don't come properly in your life until unless you are there is anxiety in you anxiety of finding out anxiety of knowing anxiety of checking anxiety of finding out it's almost like if i am something say if i am beautiful and i know i'm beautiful i'm not saying i'm beautiful i'm just giving an example for example you are beautiful you are beautiful and you know that you are beautiful then you would not go to instagram and pay for likes or views to know that you're beautiful it's one thing to say market a product it's one one thing to sell uh, a product or an idea of yours to run your house or to uh, run your expenses that is a different thing altogether but to gain popularity and to gain I am channeling the energies of some divine mass feminines and because of them masculines also who are who are aware that they are being stalked and that makes them feel like uh, running away now we are all energy beings and when you know something about yourself as i said when you know you are beautiful You don't need other people to give you a validation. You don't need a stamp on it. You know you're beautiful. That's enough for you. If someone comes up and gives you a compliment, you take it as like, yeah, thank you. But you don't put it in your head. You don't go like, oh yeah, I'm the most beautiful girl. I keep getting compliments when I'm walking on the street. It doesn't get into your head. Then there will not be any difference between you and a karmic. Now. so they are saying that stalking 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 so much stalking that it's it's not normal checking every status update checking every photograph making meaning out of everything they post online everything or some are even next level stalkers they have hired a private detective or they are going to their house or they are sending them stuff or they are going and talking to the karmics like calling up the karmic from various numbers karmics are enjoying that attention obviously they will because what is the karmic surviving on they are surviving on other people's energy stolen energy the energy that does not belong to them and you are giving them more energy by doing this and then not only stalking the dm but also stalking the karmics if one then one then more 
also stalking the mother father brother sister anyone related checking all of them out so this type of stalking creates a negative energy it's create it's creating an energy of blockage and anxiety and the result will be the masculine blocks you because obviously he is aware that you are stalking him and you are probably he has not even added you as a friend you may be stalking for a very innocent reason maybe you just want to find out what he is up to or if he is cheating on you or not or if he is uh like making stories or like when he is not responding to you or if he replies to you as and when he feels like replying to you so then you think that okay let me check out if he is really busy or not and you go online and you see that he is actually you know like talking to people online or he is just busy writing something or sharing something and that really turns you mad because he is not replying to you even after seeing your messages now these are the places where you need to understand certain things these are the places now the reason the word chaser comes into the picture now the so they say chaser energies now some of you don't stalk some of you don't stalk at all you you did that but when you got your answers you when you found out that yes he is with the karmic yes he is doing this yes he is doing that you came into the energy wherein you had you have had enough for from this guy you're done with him and you're very angry you're very upset because you're like okay this is not done you know you can't fool me you can't play with my feelings like that which is understandable because see these are all phases like i said now is the time when you should not do any more stalking drop the stalking and drop the chaser energies is what the divine is saying now you might be saying i'm not chasing him i'm not talking to him i'm not meeting him i'm not doing anything which which you know which proves that i'm doing anything i'm not even checking his facebook after all he has blocked me how can i check it or i'm not doing anything like making another account to check him or all of those things so the universe is saying that you have to drop the chaser energies even in your energy body even in your mind you should not be chasing him like you should not be constantly thinking about him like two hours have passed by and you are thinking about him or you are keeping keep on checking your old pictures with him or you are going on reminiscing over the past but because you are not healed because your energy is not cleared because there is still the transmutation of energy has still not happened then it will be like a loop where you are uh, you know stuck in a loop you are not moving ahead from that point where you actually ended so you are actually stuck in the past the ghost of the past there are certain pauses in between when i talk and that's because i have to channel some information so i have to pause in between and uh, every time there is a pause it's like i am receiving something more so i have to relate accordingly now i know some of you feel very tired very bogged down very like done to death but at the same time a lot of you do feel new energies one thing you have to understand and that will help you in this journey a lot more and that is the fact that you're not in this alone if you were totally alone and you did not even know what this twin flame journey is all about and why is this happening to you then it would have been very hard but look at the number of people who are listening to these channelings look at the comments written by people and look at the number of people who resonate with it it means you can't be alone in this journey you have a community of other people you have others also who are going through this experience and the most important thing is that pain pain is something that everyone goes through not even a single person on this planet and this is the reason why i always talk about hindu gods and goddesses because hindu gods and goddesses are the right type of inspiration for twin flame journey no other gods and goddesses in any other religion now i won't say this because i want to you know like make you all feel superior because you believe in them or i believe in them no it's because of the research i have done in this area extensive research that i have done 
and after reading and you know reading and listening and doing research i figured out that this is actually you know this is so true when you look at radha krishna they never got married and you would ask this question that krishna was a king and they were in love with each other and radha was also like from a well to do family so beautiful they are divine lovers and why didn't they get married why both of them got married to someone else that's because number one they were born in the descending dwapar descending dwapar is the time when the dwapar yuga is ending and kali yug which is the dark ages is starting so obviously there would be many ills in the society at that time the ills would start cropping in because this is right after that the kali yug will crop in the dark ages would start now at the time we are in we are in ascending dwapar that's why so many twin flame relationships are coming to fruition that's why so many people are learning so much there is a joy in research work because it's not like you know like how it used to be in 2009 when i was doing this research when i started this research in 2009 and 10 there was no information about twin flames nothing at all nothing about in ascension journey the only place i could get information was with my gurus they could answer my questions otherwise online also yes there was there was another world in online world but it came much later information primarily is the food for thought in your dna also how does your dna work because it has certain type of information all these karmic templates that you have which are blocks in your twin flame journey in your union these are all the information stuck in the dna stored in the dna so we need to heal the dna system we need to heal all those patterns and this is a scientific terminology that i'm using so that you know that you know this is not just some mind you know like illusion or delusional based information and we all know that we need to heal all of these templates now by now we all know so this research is available to you now and then there is so much joy when you get the research when you get something there's an epiphany in your mind that oh yeah this is something i agree with i resonate with it i feel it and then you find out oh i'm not the only one there are other people too oh i have a whole community so this is ascending dwapar this is favorable time for twin flamers but these twin flamers are obviously have to they have to go through uh you know their karma otherwise how will they learn how will they learn the lessons and how will they ascend and if they will not ascend how will planet earth ascend so in the last 20 30 years the dwapar yuga had already started we are all in ascending dwapar but the baggage or the heaviness or the darkness of the dark ages was still there the dark ages were at its peak at one time when average age of human beings was around 30 years just 30 years average age after average life span now the life span is increasing and it will increase even more when the golden ages arrive and the silver ages arise at that time the life life span really increases we could be witnessing a lot of technology advancements although i know that this is a pandemic and this pandemic was also required much required it's very helpful in the twin flame journey it's very helpful for the ascension ascension journey in anyone who's on a spiritual mission because you have a lot of work to do and you have to be very strong because strong people positive people truthful people will definitely uh, definitely be helped by the angels and guides and masters all these gates are open right now you know i spoke about equinox i spoke about all these things so now is the time to drop chaser energies and stalking energies because that creates uncertainty and unsurety in your energy and a lot of you i consider you my family i consider you to be my soul sisters and my soul brothers so i will have to be honest with you i want to say that this shows that you have some sort of lack of confidence in you if you don't believe in your love when you love someone and you know that it is divinely guided then you will have 100% believe in it you will not care like oh it has to happen tomorrow morning it has to happen day after tomorrow or in a week no like some of our deceased loved ones have already crossed over does that mean we don't love them does that mean they don't love us we will always love them love is the only medicine that can heal all the sickness of this planet and we need to understand this love so that we have this medicine in abundance not only for ourselves for our own personal healings for to heal but to also to heal the whole planet to heal all the beings of this planet so that this planet can come back to its normal usual glory its its actual glory which is not just normal it's extraordinary 
So on that note, I would be ending this channeling session. It's lovely to have you all here. It's lovely to e-connect with you. Thank you so much once again and one love and peace out.